Hi there, it's Carolyn at Pentland Plants. Just wanted to show you a fun project for the kids over the school holidays, miniature or fairy gardening. Ideal because you don't need much space, you can do it on a small patio or balcony, and it's a great way to get kids involved in gardening for the first time. So what do you need? Well, I've got a container, I've got some compost in it, I've put a few plants in it already just to get me going. Make sure you use small plants. I've got a list that uh, we'll put up on our, our website and our Facebook page of all the plants we've used. Make sure they stay small. I put a companion in before and it covered like this much of the container, so I hid everything. So I've learnt only tiny things. So I've just put a few plants in. First of all, you need somewhere for your fairies to stay and I've chosen this little gourd house. So I'll pop that in at the back. And what I've done is I've raised this up at the top to give me the opportunity to use um, a little flight of steps from the front door. And that takes you from the higher to the lower area. Now you can make a lot of this yourself or you can buy bits and make some. It just, just depends on um, what, you can, what you can do. So after you come out, out the house, oh, I forgot couple of little pots that can go there. Stepping stones I'm going to put round to what will be a river. Um, and I've got a bridge. So I've just kind of dug a little channel here to put my river in. I've got a little bridge to go over it. And then at the far side, I've got a bit of slate that I have found to make a patio and a fence also to go round the path. So already it's starting to look really quite cute. So the, the, the river I wanted to make blue, so I've just got some uh, gravel for aquariums. And I'm just gonna pour that in to give myself a bit of Lift my bridge up. And you can spend as long as you like planning it. I did a little sketch, first of all, to, to remind myself of how, to, how I wanted to lay it out. Um, so there's the river. And then just to add a little bit of interest, I've got some bigger stones. You know how you see stones uh, at the side of rivers? Just to add a little bit. A little bit more interest and you can you know you can put as much in as you like you can get totally carried away it's great fun absolutely great fun to do with the kids it really is they love it so a few little boulders like that and then i've got some smaller smaller little boulders as well so you can just by changing the sizes it gives you proportion a few little more bits there and you just keep working your way along you can get little fairy garden ponds that are sort of, they've got uh, like a resin in them, so they really look like water, they're lovely. So that gives you the idea of that. Then I've got some gravel, and then you can just start covering everything with a little layer of gravel. And just pat it down. I've got a few more plants I want to put in. I put in some plants. This is a, um, a lovely little thing called fairy carpet. Its proper name is uh, Isotoma, but it's called fairy carpet, which I thought was just lovely. And you can see it's got lots and lots of roots in it. So what I'm going to do is just gently tease it apart. And I'm hoping that eventually this will grow up and just almost turn into a kind of um, grass-like effect. So you can just plant little groups of it to make add a bit of interest. And it's just, this is really flat growing, so it's not going to take up an awful lot of space. And you can just pop that in. And it's got little blue flowers, so it will flower eventually. And it just adds a bit of greenness. So we've got some plants and another little one here, I think. You see, it rips, rips apart quite nicely. A little bit around the side of the of my patio. Try not to get it in my water, and then just add a little bit more gravel. Like and you just nestle it round about the the necks of the plants. If you were planting up um, an alpine trough, you would use gravel anyway because. A lot of these little alpines like to be kept dry around about their necks. They don't like to be sitting in water. So gravel is a good thing to put around, even though it 
for me it's just like a top dressing. It actually has a good effect with the plants. You can see it's all coming together. I just lift those up to lift the stepping stones up so I can get to them. There we go. And you can get arches and lots of different animals to put in your in your garden as well. Just keep working your way around. There we go. A little bit around the back. A little bit around the front. I'll for now. I'll tidy it all up and take pictures and put them on our um, website and our Facebook page afterwards. So, a little bit roundabout. Everything, all my gravel's gone into my pond, into my water. I'll tidy it all up. So, then I've got a couple little pots to go at the front door of the fairy house. I've got a lovely little bird. Oh, I'll put my steps back in, stepping stones back in. Put everything back in. A bridge, stepping stones to get to the bridge. One, two, three. Five bridge back over the water to get to the patio and on the patio we have a lovely little set of furniture, log look furniture like that and I have a little mushroom outhouse which can go here so you're walking over the bridge to go to the little outhouse and to finish it off I've got tiny, tiny little kingfisher to sit on the, sit and wait for some um, fish on the, in the water. I've got a little teeny tiny fairy, little elf to sit there beside the um, furniture. And on here, the fairy, princess fairy sitting there waiting for, I don't know who to come along, somebody to come along. So then all you need to do is water it and just watch everything grow. And it's, it really is a lovely thing to do. Kids will really enjoy it. We've got lots of beautiful new things coming in to the shop for sale this week. Um, so come out and have a look. All the details are on the website. Everybody's here to help as well if you want to help to choose plants and, and um, fairy ornaments as well. So there you go, fairy gardening. <laughs>